Many customers use Frevo to create forms with extensive dynamic behavior, such as showing fields only when they're relevant, automatically filling in fields, and performing calculations. With our Visual Rule Builder, it's easier than ever to create these dynamic behaviors, and anyone can do it. Let's take a look at a few examples. Dynamically showing and hiding sections of the form is one of the most common scenarios. You want the user to fill in a section, but only if some conditions are met. A simple example is to show billing address only if it's different from the shipping address. With the Visual Rule Builder, it's very easy to set this up. Click the Rules icon in the toolbar and navigate to the Rules tab. Click plus to add a new rule, give it a name, and run the Rule Builder. The first screen is the condition. Click to add a condition. We want to run this rule when the checkbox is checked, which means its value is no. So we choose the checkbox control by name and set the condition. Click Next. On this screen, we specify what actions to take when the condition is true. We'll add two actions that make the billing address section visible and required. Click Next. On this screen, we specify what to do when the condition is false. We'll add two actions that make the billing address section hidden and optional. Click Finish and we're done. Try it out and see that the form behaves as expected. This dynamic show height is also very common in approval workflows, where we only want to show a section on a particular step. For example, in this three-step workflow employee to manager to finance, we want to show the manager approval section only on or after the manager step in the workflow. The Visual Rule Builder allows you to select this condition in the wizard and take the appropriate actions, so it's very easy to create this kind of dynamic behavior in workflows. Another common use case is to initialize fields in the form automatically, so the user doesn't have to type unnecessary information. Here's a simple example. We have a form with a date field and a few user fields that we want to initialize when the form loads. Once again, with the Rule Builder, it's a piece of cake. As before, click the Rules icon and navigate to the Rules tab. Click Plus to add a new rule, give it a name, and run the Rule Builder. The first screen is the condition. Check the Initialization Rule Only checkbox since no specific condition is required. We want this rule to run every time the form loads. Click Next. We want to set four fields, so there'll be four actions. Select the date and user fields. For the operation, we want to set them to a value. An expression box appears. In the expression box, we'll simply type in the appropriate function, similar to an Excel spreadsheet. Just start typing and the box will show the available choices. For example, today or today's date. The functions have sensible names and are extensively documented. Click Next. Since we did not specify a condition, there's nothing to do in the false case. Click Finish and we're done. Try it out and see that the form fields automatically fill in with the desired information. Finally, let's take a look at another common scenario, performing calculations. The form might look something like this. There's a table with four columns, item, quantity, unit price, and subtotal. The subtotal for each line is computed as the product of quantity and unit price. There's also a grand total which sums the individual line items. With JavaScript or some other coding, you'd have to create a loop, use temporary variables, etc., and the syntax can be confusing. With the Rule Builder, it's straightforward. As before, click the Rules icon and navigate to the Rules tab. Click Plus to add a new rule, give it a name, and run the Rule Builder. The first screen is the condition. In this case, a subtotal can only be calculated when the quantity and unit price are filled in. So that's what we set up in the first panel of the wizard. Click Next to define what actions to take when the condition is true. Once again, with the rule builder, it's straightforward. 
we want to multiply quantity and unit price, so we simply set the subtotal to the desired expression. We don't have to worry about the fact that these are repeating fields in the table. There's no for loop or array indices or any other complicated syntax to consider. Click Next. In this panel, we set the subtotal to empty when the condition is false. This ensures that the subtotal will be cleared if quantity or price are empty. Click Finish and we're done for the subtotal calculation. Click plus to add another rule for the grand total and run the rule builder. There's no condition required, so leave it empty. Click next. We set the grand total to the sum of all the subtotals using a function. That's it. The sum function is smart enough to ignore empty rows and treats them as zeros. Click finish and we're done. Try the form and see that it correctly computes subtotals and the grand total. These are just some examples of creating dynamic behavior using the Visual Rule Builder. Customers love the power of dynamic forms and workflows. With the Visual Rule Builder, it's even easier to do. No coding is needed and anyone can easily create dynamic and really useful forms and workflows. Please visit our website and sign up for a free trial to try the rule builder yourself. Thanks for watching.